When you are 3D modeling in Blender, you will often find yourself doing a lot of attaching, joining, and merging of separate objects into a single object by pressing Ctrl plus J. Or you may find yourself importing external models which unfortunately sometimes imports in as a single mesh which you then later on have to manually separate into individual pieces. Regardless of how that came to be, the result is the same. The local pivot orientation of the separate pieces are gone. Imagine importing an external 3D file and everything comes in as a single piece. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have created an absolute worst case scenario where we imported an object consisting of multiple pieces all over the place, pointing at every single conceivable direction and all merged into a single unit. Using this as an example, say we want to extract the Go bar as a single entity. The first thing we will do is to separate the mesh by loose parts. As you can see, they have now all been separated. Now I will select the Go bar and select Affect Only Origins here. Now we are able to move the pivot around. However, rotating the pivot to match the exact angle of the bar is simply a no-go. It is never going to be accurate. And not to mention you have to make sure it is accurate for all three axes. With this commercial add-on by Niels from 3D Operators, Hey everyone! Link is in the description below. This task is going to be quite easy. Aligning the axis perfectly is only three steps away. You select the first vertex. And while holding shift, you select the second vertex. And this axis is about to be perfectly aligned when we press this button over here. There. Local axis orientation restored. Now let's move the pivot to the center of the geometry as it is quite common to do so. The other common thing to do is to put the axis at the bottom center of the mesh. Select local to tell the add-on that we are dealing with the local orientation here. And then press bottom center. Wow, done. Now if we were to reset the position and the orientation of the mesh, it would sit perfectly flat on the origin. We can even invert the axis easily here. Let's invert the X, the Y, and finally the Z. Now for the final bonus, I can select a vertex here and click Origin to Selection to move the pivot right there. What a convenient one-click solution. I would like to give special thanks to the creator of this add-on for listening to my feedbacks. The interface of this add-on went through a few changes before it gets to its current straightforward simplicity. Thank you for being willing to listen to my feedbacks, Niels. Not every developer is open to feedback regarding vast interface changes and I am grateful for your openness. If you all have a Blender add-on that you would like me to review, or if you are an add-on developer who wishes to use me as a test drive to see how understandable your add-on is to use, please feel free to contact me in the comments section. This is Brace Jack signing off and I will see you next time when I come across another Blender add-on that is super practical and useful like this one.